Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video, we are going to take a look at Cortex Network's Cortex X3 Helium Network Hotspot that was provided to me by Cortex Networks directly. In other words, this video is sponsored by Cortex Networks. Before we get started and look at what you get when you order your own Cortex X3 Helium Network Hotspot, let's take a look at some of the specs of the device itself. Just like most other Helium Network Hotspot, the Cortex X3 uses a Raspberry Pi mainboard and offers a gigabit Ethernet connection, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to easily connect and onboard the hotspot on Helium network. The Cortex X3 is an indoor hotspot, but you obviously also have the option to either get a suitable outdoor enclosure or to place the hotspot indoors and use an extension wire to install only the antenna outdoors. The stock LoRaWAN antenna shipped with the hotspot offers a 3.5 dBi gain and as explained in previous videos should therefore be more than sufficient especially for urban locations. As usual, if you are now wondering if a stronger antenna always results in higher earnings, I recommend that you click on the card up here and check out the video of another YouTube creator that explains how different antenna gains affect your area of coverage depending on your location and surroundings. One thing that sets the Cortex X3 apart from most other hotspots is that it also offers a small LED display at the front of the hotspot that provides you with a quick overview of the connection status of the hotspot and the device's IP address. And with that out of the way, let's take a look at the hotspot itself and what you get once you order your own Cortex X3 hotspot, which by the way, you can do by using the link in the description or the first pinned comment down below. As we can see, the Cortex X3 comes in a reasonably looking box. Just have to remove the outer layer here. And in terms of packaging, it's nothing special. Similar to Apple, instead of opening a flap, we have to lift off the cover to actually get to the inside of the package. And with that, we are actually already almost looking at the hotspot itself. Now, the first thing we see, like with many other hotspots, is the Cortex Quick Start Guide. That explains the different ports that the hotspot has to offer and also somewhere here in the back comes with onboarding instructions so how to actually set it up within Helium Network. Besides that, we have a quality control badge here that basically means somebody checked the box and made sure that all the parts are there and that the hotspot has been properly assembled. Plus product warranty cards for reseller retention and user retention. And once we put those aside, we can already see the hotspot itself plus the charger. Now, if we take out the hotspot, you already notice, especially if you're familiar with Raspberry Pi, that the hotspot is based on a Raspberry Pi. And you can see that the front panel, as mentioned, offers a small display. It has a camera plug, it has a power input, it has the Bluetooth connect button and audio input and the memory card itself. And on the back, we can see that we have a LoRaWAN antenna socket or plug, an RF antenna socket or plug, which is however not connected, uh, grounding and power wires, USB ports and the ethernet port. So overall, it looks very similar to many Raspberry Pi cases that you could buy with the exception of obviously the Cortex logo and the mini display here. Now, what I really like besides the display is the fact that you can access the SD card with a set of reasonably small pliers without actually having to open the hotspot. Besides that, the other plugs that you have here, like for the Raspberry Pi camera support and so on, you likely will never use. It just means that the Raspberry Pi that's used here is still basically extendable for other use cases. As mentioned on the back, you have two antenna plugs, although as said, the RF port is not connected. So that that one is basically useless on this case, but the LoRaWAN port for your LoRaWAN antenna obviously is connected. Now I'm going to put that back and put that aside to check what else we have in the box. First of all, as mentioned, or as we already saw, we obviously have the power adapter, which is a simple USB power adapter. And at the bottom here, we then have the USB wire for that power adapter. On top of that, we can remove this layer here as well to get access to the LoRaWAN antenna which you would as said attach at the back of the hotspot here and then put it up like this. So I'm gonna switch this so that it would basically be like this. 
so that you can basically look at the display of the hotspot and see what's going on in one glance, but make sure that the antenna is straight up, so vertical and not horizontal. Besides that, if we put those two things also aside for now, we can see that below we have another layer and we actually also have a network wire and some silicone or whatever this stuff is to basically protect the package from moisture, if I remember it right. And that's pretty much it. So with that, I'm quickly gonna put everything back together, starting by adding this layer again. And that's it. Now you know exactly what you get once you order your own Cortex-X3 Helium Network hotspot and where to order it in the first place. If you have any questions whatsoever, as always, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Or even better, use the link in the description or the pinned comment down below to join our Discord community and discuss the Cortex-X3 Helium Network in general and other projects with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.